Okay, it's almost 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Here's the temperature right now, and that's the feels like temperature. And that's why I don't get a chance to get out here in the afternoons during the summertime. And of course, because of the rain. But I am going to find a way around this. What's up, everybody? It's been a while since I brought up the crawlers. And here's that last build that I was working on the uh, All Star Hobby TRX 4 clone. And it's pretty much done at this point. I still need to route the wires a little better. I had to put in the fender wells. <clears throat> it's a short wheelbase chassis. And uh, I put a long wheelbase body on it just because I'm a big fan of what I got. But before we get to that, got the Reefs 422 V2 servo, which is pretty strong for this thing. Oh, well, my batteries are charged. Then I got the Hobby Wing Fusion Pro with the, uh, let's see what kind of radio. That was a GT5, I believe. Yep, GT5 radio. And transmitter combo. Cool looking radio. I have zero experience with these things, but I'm learning. And uh, the servos for the two speed transmission over here and uh, the locker differentials. Everything seems to work pretty good right now. Got my beadlock wheels with some uh, Pro Line Hyrex tires. <clears throat> and I didn't realize the tread on the original tires that came with it is a Hyrex copy and they look pretty good. But the compound on these are just super, super soft. And I cannot wait to try it out. And the reason why I went with those fender wells. Is because I wanted this body to, to fit on there. Went ahead and got the uh, Chevy K10 high trail body. And I chose the uh, TRX. bumper like I got on my original one so I think I showed y'all the the beadlock hobby hobby sole wheels with the super trenches on there or actually not super trenches they're uh pro line trenches nothing super about them and this body did not come with the uh roll bar with the lights but I went ahead and just put the basic light kit in here anyway and I wanted this body so I can use the clips. See how that works out on here. Takes a couple of hands for me to get all clipped up. But the bad part is, is like I said, long wheelbase body, it overhangs the rear bumper. But it runs pretty good, looks really good. Let me get her clipped on, I'll be right back. And here we are with the lights on. Love the detail on these. Looks really good. Unfortunately, I had to trim the body. It's like I said, long wheelbase body on a short wheelbase chassis. But that's just going to have to be it. I'm going to try and take it out here before it's made and run. See if I can't get the original TRX4 to go out there with it. This one has the Spectrum 2-in-1 in there, and this one has a Hobby Wing Fusion Pro 2-in-1. So uh, let's try and get my butt outside and see how this goes.
I don't know what the hell it thought it was doing. Well, the drone is definitely overheating. Just wanted to see how this was going to turn out with these guys. Obviously, there's a lot of suspension work I'm going to have to do on my little clone. Just wanted to see the two out here together, see how this was going to go. It's worth a try. I'm going to try pretty much anything when I can. Well, hope I can make something good of this video. Appreciate everybody watching, subscribing. Please hit that like button, and I hope to see you soon.